I saw a comment recently on my channel about a guy talking about the end of a very long-term relationship, dealing with the loneliness and the heartache that comes after, and reading this comment, it really, it really hit me in the feels. It really hit me deep down, because it reminded me of my very first long-term relationship a long time ago now, but it still made me think about it. I wanted to make this video to help others get through this experience, because I saw not just him, but a lot of other people, a lot of other guys and girls commenting about, you know, their breakups. And I wanted to make this video to help others because I went through the same experience and how you can get through it and the mistakes that I made that you shouldn't do either. I'm going to get completely and utterly honest about my experience on my first long-term relationship. That was many, many moons ago, but I'm going to get completely honest. Yeah, gather around. We've got an emotional vid. Because I want this video to be the video that I wished for for when I was going through that heartache. So hopefully this video can help you out. And what I've managed to identify that there are three stages of a breakup. Grief, acceptance, and change. Grief. You are going to grieve. It is unfortunate, it sucks, it's painful, but you are going to have to grieve. You know, when I think about the end of my very first long-term relationship, it was like a year. And um, I remember we sat on the bench that we always sit on, and she wanted to break up. I didn't want to, but we had the, you know, the conversation, and uh, so we ended up breaking up. And then she mentioned that she was going to, like, town uh, to do a shop and stuff for, like, family, and my dumbass decided, well, why not, I, why don't I join you? You know, last, last day before we separate ways. And uh, she said, yeah, why not? So we spent the whole day shopping, eating, went back to her family. And uh, then her family drove me home, dropped me off, stepped out the car door, walked up the lane. It's like a big, long, like, drive to my house. I sat by the first tree on that lane. I didn't even get up the drive. I just sat down and bawled my eyes out. After the car drove away, obviously, that would be incredibly embarrassing. I mean, it still was, because I ended up calling her afterwards, with my eyes bawling out. Um, and she was sad too. It was like, it hit me all at once. Because it is genuinely like losing a loved one. It is painful, knowing what you had with that person, with her. You will never ever have again with her. All of those memories, plans, dreams for the future, you won't ever have again with her. They're gone. And the thing is, you know, I went through the typical, like, after breakup thing, and she was like, oh, but I want to stay friends, and my stupid ass said yes, um, which I shouldn't have done because it, to be honest, just made it so much harder seeing her with other people, you know. Uh, she moved on quickly, uh, but... You know, seeing her with other people and me still being her friend and watching that, it was, it sucked. It was really, really painful. It was like getting stabbed in the heart. But because I was still hoping that we would get back together, I stayed friends and it was way, way more painful for me. And it made the breakup period last way longer than it should. I shouldn't have agreed to stay friends and neither should you because it is going to make it so much more painful than it needs to be. Obviously, you can become friends again after, like, you've gone through the breakup stage. But, you know, for the beginning, the heartache that you have, it's not worth it. Literally anything that reminds you of her is going to be painful. But the next stage might help you deal with that pain a slight bit. And that is acceptance. Before I got to this stage, the stage of acceptance, I was, you know, watching a bunch of YouTube videos how to get through a breakup. And, uh... I came across journaling. Yes, journaling. I wrote down, I don't know why, but it was 23 things that I am grateful for about the breakup. And I literally wrote down 23 things. I literally have it in the book, like I write my scripts for YouTube in right now. 
Um, if I just find it. I've literally written it um, here on the page on the left. 23 things I'm grateful for about a breakup. And um, I ended up writing a lot more and doing this like every day. And journaling, it really helped me come to the realization that one day I am not going to feel this pain that I feel right now. One day I will get past it in the future and I won't feel the pain. Even though it had been months after the breakup and any time someone brought up her name or I saw a photo of her and me on my phone, it would still hurt a fuck ton. Even months after the breakup, anything that reminded me of her or the time that we had broke me. And journaling did help. Journaling did really help. Just writing down every day you know, the reasons I was grateful for the breakup, you know, what I was feeling that day. And there is something I kind of forgot. This is one person out of 8 billion people. If it was meant to be, it would. Obviously, the breakup didn't happen for no reason, you know. you. I went through the sort of phase of, like, remembering the good times. And you're always remembering, like, the past of us together but never remembering the bad stuff because obviously the breakup didn't happen for no reason. There was a build-up, things were kind of tough, but I didn't remember any of that and I just focused on all the good times, the good memories. And understanding that made me realize that I am still important. I am still needed by other people. I was so focused in the fact that because I, she didn't need me that no one needed me. And I came to accept the fact that, no, that's not true. I am still needed by other people. Friends. Family. You guys. You know, making videos, talking about my experiences really did help. And friends came up and supported me, and family. I mean, my dad uh, gave me this watch. Um, I have the case as well, and he wrote on top of the case, like, you will get through it. Uh, but his handwriting's terrible. But, um... You know, and I will forever love this watch. And it's got some, some like, a picture on the back. Um, and, uh, you know, friends, family, they came up and it helped me understand that I am still important. I am still needed by other people. There are a lot of people in this world. And it would be good to do the same thing for you. Going through a breakup, don't neglect the other people in your life. Because friends and family will help you get through it. And then time for the final stage. I say the most important one. Change. I used to focus, like, I'm thinking back to, like, when, you know, the relationship ages ago. But I used to focus so, so much about her. To the point that my personality and life was basically in another person. And that wasn't healthy. This is the time for change. Where you can improve and focus on you but in a healthy way to deal with the pain that you still may have you may still have a little bit of pain left to be able to deal with that in a healthy way and not in the bad way not giving in and doing all the bad habits which i did you know just sort of giving up drinking playing video games all day drugs you know giving up i i did that and i'm not proud of it uh, but, you know, instead of, you know, dealing with it in a bad way, you deal with it in a healthy way. I, you know, sat down and really kind of thought to myself, what is it I want to do? And for me, it was YouTube. I want to talk to others, help others who are going through the same experiences as me and help them avoid the mistakes that I made. You know, you need to ask yourself, what can I bring to the world? Me, just me, not being in a relationship. What can I bring to the world? And, to be honest, when you're focusing on all the good habits, dealing with the pain in a good, healthy way, change, improving yourself, you know, you're focusing on going to the gym, improving your physical, eating healthier, the mental, meditating, journaling, finding out what it is that you want to bring to the world, your purpose. When you are busy with all these good habits, you end up forgetting about the pain and you end up becoming happier than you were before in the relationship. Because you're focusing on you. I mean, that, that, at least that what was... Uh, English just went out the window. At least that's what it was like for me. You know, I wasn't focused to the point where my personality was another person. I actually was able to focus on myself and I ended up becoming happier. Because I was improving myself. 
And I can happily say right now, I am the happiest I have ever been, even before when I was in that relationship. I am the happiest I've ever been. Granted, it took a very, very long time to get here, but I'm here. Hopefully this video can help you get to the acceptance stage and, you know, the change stage way, way quicker than it took me, because it took me literally months, longer than that. The best thing to do when you are finishing a relationship to go through that heartache stage, don't stay friends, it's going to be way more painful. Any sort of flashback to the memories you used to have is going to be painful. You know, delete all the photos on your phone, because seeing those is going to suck. I know you may not want to, but it's the best thing for, for right now. Just delete all the photos. It's the end of the chapter, but it doesn't mean it has to be the end of the book. It can be the start of a new chapter. Focus on the fact that you are needed by other people. Friends, family, there are others. And by focusing on you, on change, on improving, getting busy with the good habits, it can make you happier than what you were before. That doesn't change the fact that it's going to still be painful. Because it is. That grieve stage. There is no other way around it. You have to go through it. So it's gonna suck for a bit. But hopefully you can get to the acceptance stage and the change stage faster than I did. I really, really do hope that... Sorry, my English is just... I, I can't speak, man. I really do hope this... Uh, I really do hope that this video has managed to help you out. I want this video to be that sort of video I wish I had, so I do hope that this helped. Anyone out there who is going through this right now, time definitely does heal all. Time will help. And I just want to say how lucky and fortunate I am to have people supporting me, because you guys did help me as well, you know, me making videos, it did really help me. You know, we're at 5,000 subscribers now, and I never ever thought I would be to that point. And you know, I've got a video on like the my top of my for you like page, and it's talking about how in a year's time I want to be at a hundred thousand subscribers because I want to help more, and having a community would be amazing. So I just want to say a big thank you to you guys. I do hope this helped, and importantly, stay consistent and don't give up. All right, come here. You know what time it is? Seven from kids.